Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to populate a grid view with an XML file uh, using a data set. Okay, so I have created a project data set demo, a demo where I have added a web form and in that web form we uh, go to the code behind file and there we, we are going to use the is post back method is post is post back method that we are going to use because so that our uh, grid view this uh, thing will be populated only on page load for only get request not a post back request when it is posted back to the server and then when it comes back uh, then it won't be used actually sorry sorry guys that's actually uh, yeah that actually is a property it's not a method so what we are gonna do, uh, do is we have a free XML file. So let's just say that we are we want to use this plant XML file. Okay, we just open it. The file is yeah, we can see that uh, uh, it's a catalog of plants and it has got attributes like common, botanical, zone, light, price, availability, and all these things when they are uh, when we take them into a data set table then all these things will become columns column values okay let's just get to it for this what we are going to do is we create a new data set da uh, yeah data set is there let's just uh, name it ds is equal to new let's create an object of the data set and then we are going to uh, get the data from xml using uh, read xml so guys first that we have to when we have to specify the string path name we have to specify the physical path okay so for that we'll be using uh, yeah physical path is needed because see this relative path it is quite relative path is same because they are in the same directory but this relative path won't work we need to get a physical path for that we'll be using this server dot map path map uh, sorry yeah, it's not a string, is it? We'll be using the server dot. Yeah, map path method is there, and for this we need this. Uh, uh, yeah, the system dot web namespace, and to use data set we need system dot data namespace. So we'll just. Yeah, so we can use uh, for the path we can use. Uh, we have to specify any string. We'll use tilde method. To get to the root directory, okay, and uh, yeah, and then we'll be using this. We have to specify the plant dot XML. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get back. We are using this tilde, yeah, this tilde operator that will get the get it back to the root directory because if suppose that there were so many folder then this root directory this project uh, root directory it will go from there the path will be taken out. So we are going to use plant.xml out there ok so yeah so let's just specify now this method will get the xml file data into the ds data script and now we have to specify we have already added in the uh, grid B control actually this one this one, let's just get it out this way for some other purpose ok so yeah so uh, grid view one dot data source yeah then we specify it yes grid view data bind we have to call this data bind method also. ok so we have everything ready so let's just <coughs> yeah, okay. so let's just run it F5 okay. uh, let's see what's the world Uh, I don't know what could be the error. 